Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Friday the 14th of October 2022. I'm in Czech Republic in this autumn forest and more than picking this will be a mushroom overview of what I can see today. Let's start. This is a place with many clusters of honey fungus. I believe this is the dark honey fungus and there are many of them around these cut tree trunks Here is a place with some nice young mate bolides. So I will take some of them. This one is catching mold. Pity. It was nice. Some more here, here. This one looks good. There is one more. But I think that one is not so good anymore. So I will only take these guys. Except of this one because it's moldy. Some metabolites. The first one. The second one. Third one. And this one is too small. So, three guys from here. Here in the beech leaves, looks like a nice matebolite. Quite a big one, with nice dark head. Very nice. Here are some more autumn mushrooms. This purple one is called Lepistanuda. It's edible and many people consider it very tasty. The English name is Wood Blevit and I'm not picking them today. Maybe next time when there is nothing else. This is a beach part of the forest with some fallen trees. And I have found some beautiful mushrooms on them. I think this is some kind of foliota. A clustered mushroom growing out from wood. Here are some older ones. And this cluster is epic. looks really beautiful then here we have some cloud agarics a famous autumn mushroom some mushrooms similar to parasols Or maybe real parasols, it's difficult to distinguish, but I guess it's the chlorophyllum species and not Macrolepiota. Here is the 
porcelain fungus or porcelain mushroom. So a great overview of autumn mushrooms, especially those which like to grow near uh, beech trees. There are many metabolites at this place. I only try to take those which are still quite young. For example, this one. One more is growing from here, very nicely. And there are some other mushrooms here, for example this Russula. Something I don't know much and next to it we have another Xerocomelus. Look how beautiful fly agarics are here. Something that I hoped to find Apparently there are not many of them, but here is the first one, Boletus edulis, or maybe Boletus reticulatus. For this period of time I think edulis It's a bit older, but maybe still usable, I will check here. I have spotted one more and this one looks much younger. It's growing from under the stone. So it wasn't easy to take it out. But here it is. Looks quite fresh, which is really nice. Two ceps from here. Seems like ceps like to grow under rocks in this forest, at least at this period of the year, which means autumn. It's quite heavily damaged, not sure if I will take it but it's great to find some of them. Seems like I will pick some more metabolites from here. This one looks a bit older, not sure if I will take this one. Here are some more. This one on the right side is visibly moldy. These two could still be good. And maybe the nicest ones are these two. One, ah, oh, there is one more actually. So, second one. And this one with the spider, the third one. So when I put them together, they make quite a nice group. I have found another great place with some interesting mushrooms. 
I don't really know right now what these are, but they look pretty nice. I was taking pictures of them. And there are plenty of metabolites. The right one from these four is already moldy, so I will not take any of them. This one looks good. It's growing next to the other mushrooms, which I don't really know. Maybe we can have a look how they look like from the bottom. I have a guess, but I would have to confirm this with some experts. And some more metabolites here. Very pretty. One more. Mm, this one is moldy. So this one is staying here. And that's still not everything because there are many more. These have a bit more uh, purple head color but it's still the same species I believe one more then a nice fly agaric and behind it some more metabolites I will take just the small one from here. The big one will stay here. This one will go with me. And these guys will stay here as well. The forest is full of them today, so I don't pick all that I see. Just some. One more. Nice one with a pretty dark hat. I like it. Here I have some pines and spruces and a mushroom which should be shingled hedgehog. It does have those spikes similar as wood hedgehog but it looks differently, it's much darker and bigger. Some more of them here. When it's young and small it's considered edible. But I don't pick them, at least not today. And they are not young anymore, they are very huge. On meadows you can sometimes find very beautiful mushrooms called wax cups.
This is a cordyceps. I've just found quite many of parasol mushrooms. So that's it for today's mushroom overview. For picking it was mostly about matebolites, which were basically everywhere, but I was happy to also see some boletus edulis. And for just seeing mushrooms or for photography it was great because I found many beautiful mushrooms and I have many pictures. My basket is empty at the end because I met some kind people who were happy to take my mushrooms, so I will save some time at home. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video I will be happy if you click the like button, share with your friends or subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.